Howdy folks. Uh, Josh Man here. We're out we're out at the wood pile today and uh, uh working hard uh, cutting some firewood and uh wanted to talk to y'all about a serious serious issue and that's uh and that's working smarter, not harder. Are you uh tired of doing your firewood the old fashioned manual way, busting busting your hump? I know I am. I'm 30 years old. Been doing tree work for about eight years now, and and tree work's blessed me uh, with the back of, well, about a 55 year old. So uh, I know I'm I'm ready to start working smarter, not harder. Well, when you get tired of doing it the old school way, by hand, busting your ass and your back, go on and give this here log right. Can't hook a gander. This one here is the steel, the steel version. 60 inch, 60 inch handle. And then here's a good, another good example of busting your ass gets you. I used to be six foot seven. Now I'm five five because of trees. And see, damn thing's almost as big as I am. But. This gives me the strength to go all day in the wood pile. Got the super, super sharp, sharp beak nosed hook that'll bite any, even your hardest species of woods. It'll just right in there. Another one here, see there? This here's an add on too, by the way. This doesn't come standard. You're looking at about 180, 190, just for the cant hook itself. Another 45 additional doll hairs for the, the step there. This, this here's. When you got your long, somewhat decent diameter stuff, you roll roll your log like a 10 footer, you roll it on up there. And then she stays sitting on the ground, propped up, so you can cut it into firewood. That's for that's for grandpas that get a little bit, you can't quite, that's gonna help out the grandpas, the old veteran tree boys, that there. I don't even really use this sucker, I should just take it right off, but. This 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 cant hook's been a blessing. The log rat steel version. It comes in comes in Husqvarna orange, as you'll see here, or the log rat traditional tangled up in blue. So visit your nearest saw shop, nearest steel dealer, pick up this here dandy. Like I said, about a about 180, 190 for the rig, another 45 for the step. And we'll show you a couple ways it'll come in handy for your firewood, firewood endeavors. One. Now you see here, friends, this is a nice healthy size healthy sized nugget of beech wood here y'all know beech had some heavy hard dense wood and i just rolled her rolled her over with ease even in the snow the, the deepest of snow banks rolled her over i can i can finish my cuts there looks like we're headed for trouble right there Ooh, good thing george man can sharpen sharpen a mean chain so let's say you're Working uh working your wood pile up to the wood splitter and you got these big old these here big old honking biscuits and like the ones you see see in this here stack behind me. These big old honking biscuits and you're rolling them by hand and that's all fine and dandy. And you're tired by noon. <clears throat> Smoking extra cigarettes because you're tired. And uh, here's one way you, uh, it'll help you out in the in the wood pile. See there? Shoot with the just a, the smallest of, of effort. Let's try another one here. And these are just now, mind you, these are just little rounds. But they're all blown. And still, no. Oh, see, we got our little 
a little crooked and she ain't gonna roll but oh wait a minute what's that what's that log rack oh shit oh well dang i didn't even have to bend over to do none of this you fucking shitting me here let's move old 372 out the way the old 372 and you also that brings up a good point you might ask yourselves well george if you're cutting fucking firewood using a steel cant hook how come you ain't using a steel saw and that's because i needed to get some fucking work done so i brought the 372 but anyways see here roll it on roll it flip it around let's go to another piece we're done with this beach horse shit let's try this this field test no match for the cant hook pop that motherfucker on there and just give her a little whoop. Good God, damn cant hooks paying for itself already. Look at that steel in my fucking wood. I'd have never seen that if I'd have, if I'd have done some dumb shit like cut it up there in its original perched position. Thank you, log right. I don't know what I'd do without you. But firewood rounds, even them big bastards, which them ain't, them really ain't all that big. 20 inch, 20 inch units or so there, 18s. They're heavy to beach, but I mean, we're talking, I've moved, uh, I've probably rolled over some like 22, 2500 pound logs, roundness of course, so you gotta watch out for them nubbins, I mean, come on now, this is just, uh, this is primitive stuff here, but here's a real world example, and here we got your, this is a good size oak nugget, and uh, she's pretty long. Sorry, probably hard to tell there, but like I said, can't hook 60 inches. Just give you rough uh, estimates. A long log and quite quite heavy, but let's try it. Let's try it. And it's pinched up against another log, but we'll, we'll try and see what how it goes. Me rolling it off, at least to, to work it a little better. see there that's every bit of 800 800 pounds right there gotta be and uh it'll allow you to and here we were pickled up in snow pinched up another against another log got it into a little better position i could buzz that sucker up like i said made by log ride a trusted company many tree many a tree man depend on but let's talk build build quality this ain't your just average old your granddad's old shitty hickory stick can't hook that's about about yay long you might as well just be using a claw hammer to try and roll shit with this is this is forged forged from antioxidant aluminums and maltodextrin magnesio tectronicas that's the process and i think uh some tungsten, uh, tungsten, and, uh, anodized, anodizing. So, she's pretty, uh, indestructible. And, uh, and I feel like it's made me a better man. I mean, uh, already, I, shoot, I can already feel the, the testosterone, testosterone flowing. Shoot. And all the energy I save with this here rig, I'm talking about when I started started in the tree biz, I had thin, real thin skin. Like I'm talking toilet paper, wet toilet paper, and ain't even the fucking two ply shit. I'm talking about that that uh, gas station toilet paper where you gotta use a whole roll, thin skin. But uh, since doing tree work, I've become arborified. I'm an arborified certivist, just like a lot of you guys are. And George, didn't you mean certified arborist? Didn't you get your, your merds wixed up? What you, dyslexic? And like, no, I said what I said. I'm a arborified cert certifist. And that's uh, a lot of you can relate. That's just someone that's been hardened by doing the work. Getting the experience. It's uh someone who's arborified is uh 
basically a professional in sanding it all day, every day. Sanding shit. It's someone who abides by the three, three rules, three rules of tree work, which is one, look cool doing it. Two, don't get caught. Three, gravity always wins. And with this sucker here, you can abide by, you can rule one that shit all day long. I'm telling you what. There is a, a little known uh, fourth, fourth step that can save your ass in a pinch. Not everyone knows about, but that's just cut that fucker some more. Step four. Just cut that fucker some more. So whenever you get in a bind up in a tree on the ground, you fall, just cut that fucker some more. It'll, it'll work in all types of situations. I'm telling you, not just trees. You at the barbecue and your Uncle Ronnie cooks a fucking steak. Too, too goddamn hard. Step four, that bitch. Cut that fucker some more, right? See? I'm telling you. Arborified. That's right. Arborified, bitches. Not certified. Arborified. And like I said, when I started in the tree biz, I had thin ass skin. But I worked under someone who was arborified the most. The most arborified motherfucker I ever did see. And he could make trees just fucking crumble at the at the buttress just with a look. He was so arbified. Working under his guidance and direction fucking hardened me. Hard like this alum alumino anodized melto uh we were talking about earlier the build construction. But yeah, since since becoming arbified, I'm hard. I'm hard like this here can't hook. I mean shit. Take take this shit for example, huh? You like that? You like that there? Mm -hmm. I shaved this morning. Hmm? Huh? I shaved this morning. And that ain't, that ain't fucking, that ain't even half of it. By, by the end of the night, you won't even be able to, you ain't even be able to see. I can't see nothing. I can't see you. You can't see me. Motherfucking look like goddamn cousin it. Adam's family. Fucking pfft. Big woolly. Yeah, I'm tired. I almost just give up and I'm tired of shaving fucking 17, 18 times a day because I'm so arbified and hard and rugged. And that's all thanks to doing shit old school the hard way. And also thanks ever since I picked this up, I've been arbified. Arbified the most. I mean, we're talking. Mm, thanks, log right. You know what they say. You either log right or you don't log at all. Mm -hmm. So thanks for watching. Another uh, professional review by the Josh man himself. Uh, so go on if you uh, if you want to save you some work and you save a uh, save a little bit on your back so you too can have that extra energy to go to the honky tonk or something. <whistles> spend it spend it with your old lady or your old man. I ain't judging. Uh, Pick you, pick you on up one of them. Like I said, comes in Husqvarna orange, the steel model, or tangled up in blue, traditional log right color.